on a murky late November afternoon. Tristan Davis, number nine, grabs it at the four. Bounce down as he gets to the 20-yard line. Marquise Mays, number four. Second and five. Right side, Fannin. He's going to get close to the first down out near the 30-yard line before Dante Hightower makes the tackle. They are looking at a third and five from their own 36-yard line. Cody Burns, the quarterback, across the middle, caught for the first down. That's Robert Dunn, number three, and Auburn has picked up its second first down in the early going. That's a gain of 10. Burns to Dunn. Second down, 10. From the eye. Burns, draw play. Mario Fannin, who gets the start at tailback today, and he is jammed up. It'll be third down and 10. Cody Burns, the sophomore, drops back. Under pressure, darts out. And throws it right. That'll be incomplete. It'll be the first fourth down of the ball game. That is a school record, and he's got two of those five this year. Durst, line drive, bounces at the 28-yard line. And uh, Arenas is going to let it limp inside the 10. So a very effective punt by Clinton Durst. From the spread, John Parker Wilson, Julio Jones comes in. There's a tandem to the right. Wilson wants to throw from his end zone. He'll have to tuck it and run. And he is far short of the first down. Here's Burns back across the middle. Dropped. See, that's that aggressiveness. Uh, Tommy Tuberville told us earlier this week it wasn't working in practice. It wasn't working in the games. Yeah, I, and I was afraid I was going to lose my players right. and a few of his staff. I think he's right. First one was a rugby, and this one's sky high. And it's over the head of Javier Arenas. Perfect. And Durst nails Alabama for the second time. <laughs> I said there's a lot of pressure on Auburn. I meant Alabama. It's been bothering me since I said it. Of course the pressure is on Alabama. It's not that I don't listen to you, <laughs> but I didn't notice it. <laughs> they will come right. And they get the first down plus coffee to the 22. When do they go to the tight ends? And also, when do they go deep? It's first down. Here's a play action and a comeback pattern. Oh, no, it wasn't tight either. Ends. I was, I was, it is the tight yeah. end. Well, you just know what's going to happen. Auburn must commit a safety and a corner to him. They'll come right again. Big hole. Here's coffee. Out to the 47. Against Kentucky, rush for 218. Here's the toss. Coffee going left, and he is jammed up and dropped for a loss by Michael Goggins, number 49. Three split wide right, one to the left, and John Parker Wilson out of the spread. It's Auburn sending three defensively. There's the pass. It's caught at the 41-yard line. He could throw the ball, too. Yeah. Quarterback at Eastern Washington. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh One of the things that this Alabama team has not done much is give it up. Ooh, that... Uh, it's one of, the, one of the toughest things about the two division parts of college football now conferences is when you have two good teams on one side and one not-so-good team on the other. John Parker Wilson caught! Wow, Julio Jones... Knew he was going to get popped in the back. Yeah. Four rushing touchdowns in the last four games for John Parker Wilson. He appears to have it. The Gators have averaged 53 points per game since their loss to Ole Miss uh, at home. Tebow might win the Heisman just for his speech. I agree. Third down and uh, two feet. Left side this time. Whoa. And it's going to be fourth down again. Van Tiffin kicked a 52-yard field goal to win this game over Auburn. This is his son. This is from 37 yards out for the first points in the game. His weakness is low kicks. High snap. Kick is up. And the kick is good. Gary says that because he had a low kick blocked that led to overtime in Baton Rouge a few weeks ago. His alma mater, the Sullivan, Sullivan Blue Devils, 
Won their playoff game oh, last you're night. Ready. Oh, yeah. They beat Clay County. Here's Fannin out to the left. Tries to avoid the contact and the tackle, and he picks up a first down out near the 41-yard line. Dante Hightower. He is one of nine scholarship seniors who play for Alabama. Third and six. It's an illegal formation. It will not count. Oh, dear. Too Ouch. many men in the backfield. I'm guessing rugby. Uh, yes. Wisdom of the ages. Yeah. Bad punt. Shank was now, now give that. See, that won't show up on Arenas' stats. But give those stats and great field position to Javier Arenas right there. You know, Alabama's got a few great. They only got three points, but their drive started on the seven and the four. And here's John Parker Wilson on first down. Across the middle, flags are down. This could be illegal contact, holding, pass interference, all kinds of options here. <laughs> yeah. Holding, defense 39. Ten-yard penalty from the previous spot. Ball across the line of scrimmage, so it'll be an automatic first down. They got Jones if they want him. Oh, do they ever. He goes right. There he is. Wow, the defender playing way yeah, off I didn't of it. Yeah, didn't get that one at all. And that's a 15-yard game. First down and 10. Hand off. Coffee. Nice move. Here goes Coffee. Touchdown, Alabama. He is something else. Burns there. They trail by 10. Well play, left side. Tight end leads the way. It's Coffey. Smelly back into game 17 going motion right there again. John Parker Wilson. Uh-oh. No flag. Third and seven, blitz coming. Burns back. Incomplete. It was across the middle. Intended for Montez Billings, number 84. Out of the spread. Four-man rush. John Parker Wilson steps up and is caught. It'll be fourth down. Yeah. And number one is not going to get the handoff. Cody Burns shakes the sack and slides out at the 36-yard line. Tristan Davis is in the backfield with Lester. Lester goes left. He's got a first down, Auburn, across the 40. On second down, blitz coming from the corner. Burns keeps it, cuts up the middle, and he's going to have another first down as he reaches the 44-yard line. 106 to go. Burns back, left side, caught to the 35. Down to the 32-yard line. Catch was made by Rod Smith. They also will use a new field goal kicker today. He's never tried a field goal in a game this year. There's the pass, and it'll be third down at the 24-yard line. His first try will come from 40 in the Iron Bowl. He might make a memory with this one. 40-yard attempt. Clayton Crowfoot is the holder, and Robert Shiver will snap it back. How about that? Nick Saban took a timeout oh. to freeze the kicker. I wondered. I, it looked like it was perfect. I never saw any signal from the officials. Yeah. So Morgan Hull. I'm going to have to do it again. No, it's his second kick in the Iron Bowl. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> no pressure on this one. Officially, this is from 39 yards out. And it's blocked. And it is blocked. Brandon Dederick. All right, Tracy, thank you. Here's John Parker Wilson back on first down. Pumps once, escapes the tackle, and goes to the right. Then pulls up. He's got a man deep. There is contact and a flag. Yes, indeed. That's on Walt McFadden, number six. Parker Wilson in the shotgun formation. Five-man rush. John Parker Wilson goes right. It's almost intercepted. Oh, man. Holy cow. That was a tough Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Here's Brad Lester coming right. 
and skips out of bounds with a nice run. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Second down. Football. Ball is loose. Kareem Jackson forced the hit. Alabama has the football. See the graphic. Auburn has uh, turned it over 11 times with fumbles. Here's John Parker Wilson. He's got a man at the 10. Nikita Stover. It's senior to senior. Blocked. Wow. That's returnable. There is a flag down. It's picked up by the Tigers. Burns for the day is 5 of 14. He'll keep this one on the ground. It's Fannin going left. And Fannin does pick up a first down as he crosses the 45. Javier Arenas, Justin Woodall with the tackle. First down and 10. Still Fumble not, again. Still not working. Who got it? Alabama got it. Two turnovers in two possessions. It's Terrence Mount Cody. <laughs> yeah, and he will style. He's not shy about styling. Oh, great defense. Yeah. And the ball is uh, not the runners down at the 50 yard line. And our thanks to him for all the cooperative visits we've had over the years. Third down. Here's John Parker Wilson. Short little screen. There's Andre Smith out there to lead the way. And it's going to be a big, big, big game for Mark Ingram and the Alabama Crimson Tide. That's a game of 27. But some guys get it better than others, and Nick Saban gets it. On third and six, here's John Parker Wilson. Right flat, dangerous pass, but it's complete. Julio Jones with a first and goal, Alabama. Same play they ran last time for a touchdown. Boom! <laughs> Touchdown. There was nobody for Cody even to block. Ingram is split wide right. Comes left. Tipped. Incomplete. So it'll be Maine 22 0. That was Walter McFadden. Amazing what a presence he still has around here. On third down, Burns deep. He's got man coverage. And that one's incomplete. It'll be fourth down. It was intended for. Derek Winter coached with Gene Stallings, who won that national championship. And, oh, it's almost blocked. And Durst hobbling a little bit. Here's Arenas. Oof, oof. Out to the 50. First down and 10. Left side, Coffee. Across the 45 and down at the 43. Most of those kids were recruited because of the spread offense, but he still kept them. And uh, that run is going to be to the 40. All right, Tim, of course, he had uh, heel surgery back in the spring and told us many times this is the best he's ever felt since he was a sophomore in high school. Fourth down, they'll go for it. The handoff is to Coffey, got it. First down, Alabama at the 34. Alabama, Florida. I mean, it's like uh, Michigan, Ohio State. You know, it's, it's a lot of leagues. Texas, Oklahoma. Ingram to the 22. Julio. They'll run it. Doesn't matter. They got nine on nine inside, and they're just mashing them. We do. Up the middle. Touchdown, Alabama. Mark Ingram gets the score. It has been relatively penalty-free. On the sweep, it's Lester going wide to the left, and he is in jail. Luther Davis. Burns now 5 of 16 for 47 yards. Got some time now, but he can't find anybody open, so he'll freelance it. He's got men now. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Montez Billings after all of that, but uh, they've done quite a bit in their four years. They have persevered. Here's Julio Jones. That one is overthrown. It'll be fourth down. 
See Corey Reamer, the linebacker, who's the uh, punt protector. Now Fitzgerald, side of his foot. And boy, Saban, Saban is out on the field. Wow. I mean, it's uh, it's next week already for Nick Saban. Here's Cody Burns back to throw. Little screen right side. Tackle misses a block. And the receiver pays a price. Wow, that was not. I could tell you a lot more, but even my brother-in-law says back to Burns. <laughs> oh, All right, Tim. We appreciate the quiet. Oh, that well, was good. After that 28-yard catch, here's Cody Burns back. And he's caught and dropped. Back to the 48-yard line. Coach's vote. Here's Cody Burns deep left side. Good coverage. Adjustment by Rod Smith. Incomplete. And it'll be fourth down. Thirst has been quite effective. Arenas has had a few opportunities. Yeah, good punt again. Arenas lets it go over his head, and that's good. Oh, no. Slid into the... Yeah. Glenn Coffey, number 38, is the running back. He gets the handoff from John Parker Wilson. Breaks loose. Watch out. Oh, he got caught. Boy, if he had been able to shake that last tackle. Yeah, Mike McNeil was the only guy that had a chance, or he was going the distance. 12.04 to go. Like that. Yep. I, everybody knows that. It's no big deal. You know, I mean, it's... Well, you know, it would... Stuff never bothered Except that Saban had uh, all those years at LSU. You know, he... He's gotten into this Iron Bowl thing in the second year. Right. I think the vision of Auburn players last year holding up six. Right. Probably. Well, it's anonymous. And only, this one. Only the last vote right. they have to publish who they voted for. Here's Terry Grant. 2003 Oklahoma. Mm. Grant going left. Terry Grant had a big year last year. First down and ten. And the, whoa, Grant slips it. A little moisture still on the ground. And the contrast in styles is the, you know, new school urban, old school Knicks, spread, run. You know, the only thing is similar is both coaches have won a national championship. On fourth down, McElroy rolls out. Finds Smelly the tight end. It will go over on downs as Brad Smelly is tackled at the 23-yard line in Tuscaloosa. First down and 10. Here's Cody Burns back to throw. And he fires it short to Mario Fannin. Fannin reverses. Field fumble. That ball is still loose. And I think Auburn got it. Swinton recovered. Now they're saying. Yep, he dug it away. It was a shot Johnson. It's the guy who got the ball, I think, at the bottom of the pile. She came up with that during the commercial. During the commercial, during the yeah, commercial during break? Commercial. <laughs> okay. It wasn't that extra jolt of coffee last night. <laughs> Roy Upchurch. Got a third down here with three minutes I, to go in this one. I yep. was hoping for a commentary on this thing from, from Tim for <laughs> maybe we, two minutes. We got that last week. Here's the pass deep. Wow. Marquise Mays. Yeah. Touchdown. Wow. Although I did do one Iowa-Wisconsin game one time. <laughs> Corey Smith kicks it off. Tristan Davis, number nine. And Smith has to chase him. And he got him. And there's a flag on the near side. And a little tussle breaks out. During the return, personal foul. 89 of the receiving team. 15-yard penalty. First down. Got him. Brad Lester, number one. 120 to go. Cody Burns goes right. Prince Hall, Lorenzo Washington with the tackle.
Let's go down to Tracy with Nick Saban.